If you want to know how to get more views by using your video description, keep watching this video. Before we start answering this question of how to use your video description to get more views, let me clarify that YouTube's algorithms first take a look at your metadata of your video and learning the description and the title and also the tags in order to understand how to get your video to your target audience. So it's compulsory to take into account a qualitative approach to all of these things. We've already figured out what to do with the title and if you haven't watched my video about how to use keywords and optimize your video, you can watch it by clicking somewhere here. And now let's get to the description since this is also a large and important element of optimizing your video because we all have to learn how to understand working with metadata at a deeper level. This is Nader from Prodvigate and here on this channel we talk about how to make considerable progress on YouTube today. So at the beginning, there should be a couple of sentences that give a brief description of the video. And those couple of sentences have to be more detailed than the title of the video. And also timestamps. That's a convenient feature that helps users navigate through the video and also helps optimize it. And that's a really cool feature that all YouTubers now are tapping into. Also general information about the channel and in fact this should be in the description of your channel but the description of your video should include information like who you are, what topics you discuss on your channel and so on. And also links. These are links to your social networks, websites, maybe some affiliate links unless your partner has requested you know to post links at the beginning of the description this is also possible. And also hashtags. Now this is an important and integral part of SEO. So let's get to what not to do in the description. You cannot advertise any forbidden stuff like fraudulent links and sports betting and so on. And also spamming. You cannot use too many keywords as this is considered as manipulating the algorithms and illegal. And don't abuse links that take viewers away from the platform because the main task of YouTube is to keep the users on the platform as long as possible. And the more you help the platform to achieve this task, the better it is for you. I talked about this in the video about how to get into the suggested videos and you can watch it by clicking somewhere here. Don't use too many emoticons and that kind of nonsense because it distracts the viewers and looks like spam. So what must be taken into account when starting to use the description? First, specify in the description of the video what you would like the audience to learn. The first item in the structure of the description of the video is the summary of the video itself. It should include information that answers the question, what does the viewer learn from this particular video? But ideally, it would be good to also include in the title the answer to the question that the, uh, the viewer asks when the video is playing. And keep in mind that initially, before expanding the description, the viewer sees only the first two sentences in the description and it turns out that all the other important stuff are going to be seen only if the, you know, the viewer clicks on the see more icon. And also using keywords. Keywords and proper work with SEO in your description will help improve the position of your videos in the search results and hence increase the number of views. But if the number of views you have with the correct optimization will increase anyway, then the viewing time will grow only if you haven't stuffed all the keywords that are not related to the topic of your video into the description. It's just that your video will be sent to people who are not interested in you know, your niche or your topic and it's unlikely they are going to watch what they weren't really looking for. So what should you do in the description? Give the most important words in the beginning of the description since we have only two sentences that the viewer's eyes get to. Then the keywords should also be taken into account there because the algorithm's eyes will also get to them metaphorically to a greater extent at the beginning of your description. Also, select a few words that most accurately reflect the essence of your video and add them to both the description and the title. And learn the popular search questions using special tools like Google Trends, for example, including the keywords that users specify most often in the description. This will help increase traffic from search results. But again, we analyzed and worked with these tools in a separate video about the use of keywords, so make sure to watch it. You should also add interactive content. 
In addition to information about the video, you can include interactive elements in the description. This will allow you to increase the number of views and attract new viewers to your channel. Here's exactly what you can do. You should use timestamps. Well, it allows viewers to decide for themselves what exactly they want to watch in your video. And you should give links to playlists with similar videos. In general, make it a rule to, you know, give hints leading to your videos, whether they are in the description or in the video itself. Because you get the viewers to stay on the platform as long as possible. And this will bring you more viewers. And make sure that all links that you add to the description have this prefix because otherwise viewers will not be able to click on them. You should also keep an eye on the analytics and evaluate what's going on there. To find out if the description of your video attracts viewers, study the YouTube analytics reports. You should also add hashtags to your description. Users can also use them to find your video. Now each hashtag has its own personal page on YouTube where you can add and find more videos with the same hashtag. YouTube give hashtags in the title and the description of the video at the uploading stage. If the viewer clicks on the hashtags, a page with a video of the topic will be opened. Don't exceed the limits. If you use more than 15 hashtags, all of them will be rejected. It's most effective to use hashtags if the video is dedicated to current events where viewers who are looking for the videos on the popular topic will probably see your video and click on it. The first three hashtags in your description will be displayed above the title of the video. Therefore, the first three should be the most important ones. And don't forget about the requirements of advertisers. We must not forget that we also earn money on YouTube and we earn, as you know, by selling advertising space in our videos to various brands and advertisers. Therefore, their opinion also matters. To reach the right audience, advertisers sometimes target videos with certain keywords in the title, description, and tags. Meaning, what will be displayed in your ad will also depend on your title and description. Here are some recommendations regarding metadata. Make sure that the title, tags, and description always, always reflect the essence of your video. Keep in mind that your words might be taken out of context. Advertisers often avoid content that has ambiguous words or offensive language. And finally, I'll give you a couple of bonuses that are going to be so interesting. First, the number of characters in the description field is limited. You can enter no more than 5,000 characters. And also, specify the participants and creators on the video in the description and you can mention everyone who took part in the creation of the video and thank them for their cooperation. Thank you so much for making it to the end. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and activate the bell so you don't miss out on our future content. Thank you all and see you next time.